there's some people out there that just love to strut their ish. <laughs> there are others, like you and me, that like to slip under the radar, only to whoop ass when no one's expecting it. So, I'm about to show you four modern sleepers, plus an honorable mention, that'll collect those pink slips on the daily. And the last one on this list casually sits over 700 horsepower and will blow the doors off of most supercars. No big deal, right? Looking for the iconic 6.2 liter V8 pulled from the C6 Corvette? This car's got it. Looking for a modern sedan with a six speed manual? Yeah, this car's got that too. Also known in Australia as the Holden Commodore. The Chevy SS is probably the most underrated sleeper on this list. With 415 ponies tugging at the wheels, this car rips to 60 miles an hour in just 4.5 seconds. Whether you wanna go drop off some flowers at your grandparents or pick up that bomb diggity chick on Tinder, this girl can do it all while still having all those comfortable modern amenities such as heated and ventilated front seats parking assist for those city parking spots and it just cruises along with its standard mag ride suspension and by the look of your face it's obvious you're thinking of snagging one of these just to be able to listen to that iconic v8 roar from the ls3 that'll ruin rubber faster than you did on your first date but sadly all good things come to an end and this car was discontinued in 2017 due to a lack of sales but there's still plenty of used ones floating about <laughs> Remember the glory days of the V70R and the 850R? Yeah, Volvo freaking owned the wagon game, and they definitely aren't stopping till they reach perfection. After joining forces with their racing partner, Polestar, they decided to take it one step closer to heaven with the V60 Polestar. The words sleek, butter, and smooth are written all over this car. And the 2017 model slams the power to all four wheels, making the jump to freeway speeds in only 4.4 seconds. With its 362 horsepower turbo and supercharged inline four, not only can you get this car in a fucking gorgeous color called Scion Racing Blue, ugh, this car gets me. You also get damn good looking lightweight wheels and manually adjustable Olin's coilovers. However, if wagons ain't your thing, Volvo also makes a sedan variant called the S60 Polestar that looks just as good, if not better. <laughs> Want something that can log a ton of miles, but can seriously put that power down when you put the pedal to the metal? Yeah. The Ford Taurus Show is one hell of a sleeper, throwing down 365 horsepower to all four wheels with its EcoBoost V6, nailing down a zero to 60 time of just 5.2 seconds. And there's a reason why cops all over the country use them. Have fun running away from one of these. And the left lane will become your own personal playground. <laughs> and it's quite hilarious when everyone moves out of your way, thinking you're an unmarked police car. And while you be cruising down the freeway, you'll be sitting snug with a heated steering wheel for those chilly days, comfortable seats with lots of bolster adjustment for when you want to feel those G's, and a handy dandy adaptive cruise control. But like most car manufacturers do, Ford will be discontinuing the Ford Taurus, along with cars like the Focus and Fiesta. And lucky for you, due to the dwindling sales, there are more than enough discounts and incentives for buyers like you. Put some gas in the motherfucker and take your test drive to your job. Drive the bitch to your parking spot, smoke your joint, smoke your blunt. Now, before we get to the finest supercar killer to roam the streets, here is the moment that you have all been waiting for, the honorable mention. <laughs> Imagine if you had the performance of an R35 GTR in the form of a crossover SUV for only a mere, actually, we'll get to the price in a second. How much do you think it costs? The Nissan Juke R 2.0 is a car I would do unimaginable things to. I mean, this car is a 600 horsepower rocket. They somehow managed to stuff a 3.8 liter GTR Nismo motor under the hood that shoots up to 60 miles an hour in a whopping 3.5 seconds. Not bad at all. Nissan stated that we would only see 23 total Juke R models. Why 23, you ask? Well, two in Japanese is pronounced as Ni and three as San, making 23 the official number of Nissan. Oh yeah, and for the price, this car costs just about $590,000. So uh, you may have to do a little bit more than just scrape pennies off the sidewalk. <laughs> They had me at the word Trackhawk. So I guess Jeep thought it would be a great idea to stuff the 707 horsepower V8 Hellcat engine into the Grand Cherokee. And oh boy, did they drop some panties. Nailing down 60 miles an hour in just 3.5 seconds. The Trackhawk beats out cars like the Aston Martin DB11 and the brand new C63 AMG. Even its ugly twin brother doesn't stand a chance in a straight line. So if you're looking for an inconspicuous family hauler that leaves imprints of your guts on the seat, look no further because 
this $90,000 product from Hell will do just that. And you know what else will keep you planted in the back of your seat? These cheap supercars that you should never race. Or you can check out what YouTube recommends you watch next. Oh, and if you haven't subscribed, which 98% of you guys haven't, please do. But either way, you can't lose. And as always, keep living that ideal lifestyle.